So we're going to talk about how you can manage your products. This is found under the products tab. Okay. So you have the first feature, manage products. What we are going to do here is I'm going to show you how you can change your price, how you can also uh, look into your stock as well. Most common problem that vendors do is they forget to update their stock beforehand and that affects their shop okay, negatively. So I'll show you how you do all this. All this can be done from your end. So once you log into the products and come to manage products, it will bring you to this page. Yeah. We'll get to see the different columns that we shall look into. So on your far left, we have the name column. We have the SKU column, which basically stands for stock keeping unit, which is meant to be a code that each item is meant to have. We have the price column right here, which is the original price that you set when you created the item. But we also have the sell price column. Sell price basically comes in when you as a vendor decide to put up a discount on your item or give out a sale on your all your items uh, so that you can attract market or so that you can clear out your stock or for whatever other reason that you may have. Okay, So for example, this particular vendor uh, sells this item at 1,900 shillings but is currently giving a discount of 900 shillings. So when you fill in your discount or your price, it is always important that you also set the, the date range. How long or how long do you want your uh, your, your sell price to run? Okay, so when you put in the amount, it is best that you set the date, the timeline. Basically, if do you want it to run for a week, for a month, uh, for an year, or whatever period that is comfortable for you? Uh, all this can be inputted right here under the date range. Okay, which is found right below the name. Okay, so once you fill in all that, always remember to click on save. Okay, so when you click on save, when you click on save, it will automatically go live, and uh, uh, it will automatically go live on the set date that you selected. So if you uh, ever want to change your mind on uh, stopping the, the discount, you can always remove the date range and click on save and your item will continue selling at its original price. Okay. Uh, right next, we have recommended price. This is when we give you notifications to let you know if your item is uh, too expensive or you're not, uh, it's not in the competition bracket. It is usually just to inform you that you need to, make, uh, to grow your sales by reducing your price. But we have available column, which is right next to that. Available basically stands for stock, like I mentioned, where you meant this is where you meant to up update your stock whenever you need to, uh, when you whenever you come to your shop. If you are running out of stock, it is best you update your stock to zero, like what you've done, and click on save. Okay, this will automatically uh, deactivate your product, so as you can see. It has literally turned into X. Okay, or in other ways, you can also turn the product off using the on and off button. Okay, these are ways of deactivating your product to prevent from further orders coming in. Okay, so it is very important that you do so whenever you, you come to your shop. Update your stock in good time to prevent you from getting orders or let you have run out of stock in your shop, basically. Okay.